Hey YouTube, so we bought our new home. Um, this is right here. It's a Alliance Paradigm and we will be moving to the full-time RV life. So this is a camper right here and uh, I'll give you the floor plan real quick and then we'll do a quick little tiny tour and then we'll do something super detailed in, uh, in a later video. So anyway, so this is uh, the camper right here. It is a 365 RD from this new newer company named Alliance. And uh, this is a, like a full-time living um, RV. Now, not all of them are made for full-time living and a lot of them like you lose your warranty if you try to full-time live in it. And you'll notice like there's this weird kind of thing where it shows a kayaks in the back on the left. Um, the kayaks um, would be a space that is actually underneath the living room. So you have that huge living room area with like basically three couches, two couches and a love seat and a huge TV. The center section is um, a kitchen. And then the front of it is a bedroom with a king size bed and it has a washer and dryer and a bathroom and a dinette. So it's, it's fantastic. The other thing to point out is um, if you look at the hitch weight, it's 2,850 pounds. The new truck that we have in the last video ha can, um, has a carrying capacity of 4,000 pounds. So it easily fits within um, the carrying um, capacity of our truck. It also um, has a GVWR or the weight of the trailer is 16,800 and our truck can tow essentially 24,000 pounds. So that's super easy to, um, it is 39 feet, 10 inches. So it's like 40 feet. It's pretty, pretty hefty, pretty big. Um, they make bigger, um, but, but we li really, really like it. So let's um, kind of show you around. So this is the back area of the camper where you saw the kind of, they had an example of kayaks and they have this humongous, I mean, and this is humongous pullout. This, it's hard to really kind of see on camera how big this thing really is, um, but I want to say it looks to me when I just walk up next to it like the size of two long bed pickup trucks. It, it is just humongous. Like the thing sticking out in the back is like longer than a, a, a pickup, full size pickup. And you can see just on the back, I mean, it's like almost like half the fifth wheel or whatever, or third of the fifth wheel. So we're going to go inside real quick. And like I said, this is going to be a very quick video. Um, this is a kitchen area and we have not uh, taken possession of this yet. Um, we just bought it and then um, it's sitting at the dealer and they're going to be like getting it all ready for us. And this is the front living area and you can see that there are couches in the front living room and a big TV and you have all these little kind of wraparound windows which is cool. And this is a rear living unit so it's RD's rear den. And there are three air conditioners in it. Um, two of them are in dump mode and then one of them is ducted. And it has an island in the center of it, you can see. It has a residential refrigerator, so it has like home style appliances in it. Um, and the door there goes to actually a pantry. And you can see here, like it actually has a full size um, freezer with like an ice maker. And then on the inside, on the left side of the door, there's like a thing where you can fill up water bottles and stuff um, with cold water. Um, it, do it does not have a convection microwave. It has a regular microwave and a regular oven, which is something really important to us. The other thing is it has this like little a tiny square little area down there that I'm kind of thinking this is going to be where the litter box goes because we have cats obviously. Um, but we'll see, we'll figure that out. Um, then even like the dining area has this like really nice wrap around um, little spot where you can look out. And we are at General RV um, in Richmond, Virginia right now if you're wondering like, like which place we're actually at. This is uh, um, the bedroom. And it has this like little hidden storage and it has like a dresser there and that humongous closet. That is a king size bed. You can get it with a king or a queen. And then um, it has like kind of like this barn door that like you use to like close off the bedroom if you want to close it off. Then um, hidden away, there's that little shelf there. And this is going to get a little dark for a second. But that is a washer and dry washer prep right there. So a washing machine will be there. We, we already purchased it. And then this side over here is where the dryer goes and the little white thing that you see on the wall is where the dryer vent would go and they'll like drill it or whatever and, and put it in. This is a little seating area that you have like so you can put your shoes on or whatever. And then um, this is the bathroom here um, and it has a really pretty good sized shower um, as you can see and even being six foot um, it has like plenty of space. The sink area is a little bit small but I mean that's it's like that's more than enough for, for the two of us. And then the other thing that I really like about this uh, unit is they have the old school buttons on a brand new unit. You don't have like the fancy LED panels and stuff that like can be kind of annoying. Um, and when I say annoying, they get, it, sometimes they just don't want to work for you. That is a Nautilus looking uh, um, like water system. So that wet bay there 
is where you'd fill up with water. You just turn the little knobs and get it to go however you want. It has um, like the high end axles, um, this coat, this fifth wheel. It has auto leveling on it also, um, and it has all the storage um, that we need. And uh, yeah, we are um, gonna sell our house. It goes on the market in 12 days, believe it or not. Like we already have a real estate agent and it's all kind of set up. This hitch here can tow 3,000 pounds. We don't plan on towing with it. Um, it can also hold 300 pounds, like vertically, they're just right there. So the 300 pounds will probably be good for a bicycle, um, like a bicycle thing holding bicycles. We technically might be able to fit a small cricket back there, which is like the little mini golf cart that we did, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, like if I want to put 300 pounds on a 300 pound hitch. So this is a couple of those slides I'm going to throw up from their book to kind of give you an idea of um, some of the different things about that Alliance. The Alliance does three air conditioners, like that's just the normal way they do it, and they, and they have two of them in dump mode, um, and that's what you see on the left. And dump mode just means that um, the air blows out of the air conditioner. That's the most powerful way um, for it to cool down like a large space. And then the other one is ducted, meaning um, it has ducts to put the air in the, in the smaller spaces. And this is uh, the information they have on the axles. And they've basically done a whole lot of like upgrading and improvements to, uh, to all the you know important mechanical stuff. I don't want to sound too uh, engineering. Um, and they have a drop frame. That's what makes it so um, in the chassis you can fit all the stuff um, underneath, so to speak. So this right here is our truck, um, and. For the long time people that have been watching us, we sold a Gladiator that was in the last video, um, one of the last videos that, I, that we released. And uh, there it is right there, the old Gladiator right next to it. You can see the, the, um, the truck that we had just purchased that will be used to tow this. We do not have the fifth wheel hitch yet. It's been ordered and it's on the way. And basically by the time we get the fifth wheel hitch in, um, we will also be towing. And we had decided basically to get the Demco um, fifth wheel hitch, which is a uh, sliding hitch, and then um, essentially, when I get the the adapters that make it that lengthen the the arms on top, we'll be able to to like hook it up to most of the different types of trailers without a, a capture plate. Um, so anyway, um, please like and subscribe, and uh, we will continue to share with you our uh, um, adventures and moving to full time living.